Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long winter here in Cleveland, Ohio. The weather is starting to warm up and it's about to be kayak season soon. And one thing that I want to do is add a pair of Yak Attack Mighty Mount 2 mounts to the deck of the kayak so I can add a few more pieces. And let's take a peek and see what we're dealing with. All right, so taking a look at the Shearwater 125 here, I've got a lot of items using the rails and I just don't have enough space to put a few more Yak Attack gadgets on either side. And one thing I want to do is have a cleat right here. Let's see if I can put my hand there, yeah. I want a cleat right here and a cleat on the other side for a bait bucket I want to pull and then for a stringer. You can see I've got the Omega 2 rod holder there and everything moving forward, we have a camera mount that goes here and everything moving forward is just too far for me to reach. So right now I've got the cleat here and it's just not a good spot for it. I want to move it back over. So not a lot of real estate. I've added these uh, rod holders here, but I just need to take advantage of these decks and put this mighty mount on. It gives me some place to put something. It'll end up going about right there. And uh, yeah, it should be a good spot for it. So what we're going to do is remove this mount here because these are not just screw-ins like that. These actually have uh, nuts and bolts that go through to the other side. So I will end up removing that so I can get underneath there install it and we'll be ready all right first thing we'll do is remove these mighty mounts from their boxes or their packaging by giving a little clip here there we are so i like these because they're not big they're very they actually don't take up very much real estate at all and it's just great to have as many mounting points as possible close to you so what we'll do is put this one here and then we'll use this cleat from Yak Attack, like so. So this will fit nicely, yeah, just like that. And therefore, allowing me to mount a uh, rope, or attach a rope that can run back for my bait bucket that gets trailed behind. And then on the other side, we'll do one for a stringer. If I have any fish on the stringer that I want to keep there. And then you can add anything to this cup holder, although I don't really need a cup holder. I got one. But uh, you get the gist. Just more space is, uh, more space for mounting is always a plus on a kayak. So let's get started. This should come out pretty easily. I installed this. Uh, not too long ago. There we are. All right, so this is going to allow me to get right up underneath here. First thing is get it where you want it. All right, so we got it lined up parallel. And right now I just need to drill some holes, as some, some pilot holes to get it started. So we'll grab some drill bits. You got four bolts here, four nuts. It's all coated, so it should not rust at all. So we got it where we want it right here. So what I'll do is just drill a hole right in the middle. Just get that going. There's one, two, these are just pilots. Three, and four. All right, we got our pilot holes. We'll just go straight through. One, two. Always scary drilling holes in your hull. There we are. There's our four holes. Screw it straight in. There we are. Okay, we've got it mounted. And the next thing to do is to get all of those screws on there, or the bolts, yeah, the nuts. So this is not gonna be easy because I gotta find a way to hold it and get it through there. All right, with a little bit of finagling, I was able to get that nut onto the bolt right here. We'll do the next one here by adding just a little bit of tape to the back of it. That on there. We'll take that nut, place it on there like so, and then hold it in place. I wonder if it would be easier to position it so I can see it like that. There we go. Let's try that. All 
Look at that. Perfect. All right, we got it. Now two more, and I think I found the answer is to position it, then put the nut and bolt through after it's underneath. All right, try this one more time. Here we go. We're on, on track. Position it so I can see through. And put it on in. There we are. One more to go. All right, here's our last one. Got it. A lot of finagling. All right, now we have one of our Mighty Mount 2 clips right in there. It's perfect. So let's add our rod holder back to its location. Three. Perfect. All right. There's our Mighty Mount from Yak Attack installed. Perfect, look at that. That is exactly what I was after. All right, let's move on to the next one and call this project finished. And we're done. All right. There you have it. A pair of Yak Attack Mighty Mount 2s installed on the Shearwater 125 up on the top rail. Like I said before, I've got a couple of cleats on each side. This is so I can run my bait bucket on one side and a, um, a stringer on the other. So we have any fish, we can keep them fresh in the water. All right, well, thanks for watching my video. Look forward to getting out on the lake and doing some fishing here very soon. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.